Okay. So, this question has got different concepts from basic and chapter 2 concept like single data path or nation means it is about the ALU and data path second chapter okay and the basic also. So, how to solve such type of questions let us see okay right. So, a single bus or nation of data path for a microprocessor for a CPU the value of MDR what is MDR memory data register which is used to hold the data before it is transferred to data bus or when data is accessed from data bus. So, there are two important registers MAR and MDR. MAR is for memory address register to hold the address before it is placed on the address bus from microprocessor. Okay, right. So, MDR is 16 bit means you should understand that the data bus length is 16 bit that is the meaning. Okay, is copied into IR. So, in the processor the data has been brought from memory with respect to memory anything can be called as data, but for an instruction it is opcode. The first one for any instruction is opcode fetch only. Okay. So, in the memory everything is in binary form only. Therefore, with respect to memory we call everything as data only. Got it? Yeah. So, now observe carefully. So, MDR is copied into IR. Now, tell me from memory you brought something into MDR and this value is going to IR. What is IR? Instruction register. What does instruction register contain? Opcode of present instruction. It means for that particular instruction the opcode is first fetched into IR. It means that in the IR opcode is there, instruction code is there that is the meaning. Okay, right. If the IR means instruction register bits represent an instruction means opcode of instruction which can change the program control, which can change the program control. Now, tell me which kind of instruction is this? There are two types of instructions. One is sequential flow, other one is control transfer. So, if the program is changed means this instruction code belongs to some branch instruction like jump, call, return, so on, etc. So, normally branch instruction means that change the program control means jump instructions. Okay, right. Now, observe carefully. So, here find the range of displacement if the number of operations of CPU is 256. So, there is lot of different linked data here. So, each one you should understand very cautiously. Okay. Now, first of all you should know that instruction is present in the memory. Okay. Let us take out the logic in the question one by one. Okay. Right. So, here this is the instruction, right? This is the instruction. So, instruction is present in the memory. Okay. This brought into brought into the microprocessor. Okay. okay. Let me just take in a simple way. Yeah. This is the instruction. It is being brought into microprocessor. Okay. So, microprocessor has got different registers. Yeah, this instruction is present in the memory. Did you give any memory address? So, no memory address, do not worry. So, this is the given question. This is microprocessor. This one is memory. Memory has got some instruction code, opcode. This is some instruction, okay. Some instruction code is present in the memory. So, this xx means this is some opcode, opcode of the instruction, operation code of the instruction. So, anything from the microprocessor, there are two important registers you should understand very cautiously. One is called as memory address register, which is used to hold any address from the processor to the address bus. That is one thing. Memory address register holds the address of memory or IO before it is placed on the address bus. The other instruction is MDR, memory data register, memory data register. So, this memory data register whatever comes from the data bus, whichever is from the data bus not address bus data bus, whichever is from the data bus whatever you bring from memory through the data bus that value will come into the MDR. Let us say if this MDR value is going to instruction register you should understand that this is one instruction. If it is data, data will not go to the IR normally instruction data will go to some registers. So, if this opcode is coming to which one instruction register right. It means after the instruction register value is decoded, then the processor understands what to perform. So, for any kind of instruction till decoding story is same, same concept. After decoding only processor knows what to perform. Are you able to follow? Yes. Now, tell me in this case he is telling that memory word length, he did not give memory word length directly right. He is telling that MDR is 16 bits. Now, tell me if the MDR is a 16 bit register, the value from memory has come through the data bus. No, it means the memory word length here, whatever you are uh, 
considering memory as a consideration here it is 16 bits that is the meaning anything that comes from data bus into the processor will enter the MDR. So, data bus is 16 bit so memory word length is also 16 bit that is what you should understand right next what he says yeah that is done. So, in the instruction register means that is opcode of some instruction. So, this instruction is a branching instruction. So, that is the first thing you should know. Now, if the number of operations of CPU is 256. Now, first of all you understand in the single bus ordination means inside the processor the data path will be there ok. What is data path? It is just combination of different decoders, registers value, ALU everything together is said to be the multiplexer everything together is said to be the data path ok. How the data flows for a particular instruction through various block to various uh, uh, blocks inside the processor that is what we call it as data path right. Now, observe here. Here he says that the instruction can the, uh, the operations of the CPU are 256. Now, tell me every instruction will have every instruction will have two parts one is opcode other one is operations an instruction will have two parts one is opcode other one is the operands operands will give you the address information address information of data of data that is for the normal sequential flow instructions means one by one. So, for this one you will understand that this operand will give the address information right. So, op code means this is indicating the operation code which kind of operation it is performed operation code. Now, he says that this instruction is one such a instruction which can change the program control from one location to another that is what he is telling. So, if it is changing the program control from one location to another location it is a definitely a branch instruction. So, as per data you should understand that as per question you should know that instruction is a jump instruction. So, he did not mention anything. So, you can simply say instruction is a branch that is jump instruction jump instruction. So, that is unconditional jump instruction let us assume ok. Now, here he is telling that what is the range find the range of displacement if the number of operations of CPU is 256. Now, observe carefully here this instruction has got opcode and operands for the branch instructions they follow the PC relative addressing mode. It means if the program is present at some address let us say let us say some program is there i1, i2 and so on etc. This one is some unconditional jump. So, in the instruction the address part will give you the relative value where the program should go. It means this is some x value which is present in the instruction. So, let us say it has to jump to some location it has to jump to some location. Let us assume the address of this instruction is 205 let us say and this instruction let us say some x instruction is there here this x instruction is there we do not know and this instruction address let us say uh, it is some 2009. It means after the opcode fetch of the instruction the program counter value is 0001 let us assume like that ok right. Now, observe carefully here is the current value of PC it means where it has to jump actually to 2009 it means from this current value of PC to the target address how much it is what is the distance 9 minus 6 what is the value 2009 minus 6 what is the value 3. So, actually this 3 will be the offset value that is the displacement value that is stored in the instruction field. So, that the number of bits required for coding will be reduced are you able to follow. So, the jump instructions will follow a pattern of PC relative addressing mode PC relative addressing mode program control is transferred to the address effective address. So, how to calculate that effective address he is telling what is the range of that value he is telling. So, this displacement range are you able to follow. So, this effective address is the one where the program control transfers. So, in the branch instructions effective address is equals to where the control program control transfers where the program control transfers. So, address where address where program control transfers or we can say branches is the point clear right. So, here what is the PC relative addressing mode in the PC relative addressing mode in PC relative. So, it is a branch instruction. So, it follows PC relative addressing mode PC relative means which re with respect to the program counter how many locations the program control should shift it means the program is here in unconditional jump it has to go to this location means the middle instructions will not execute. So, what is the relative value it, it, uh, it, has, it has to jump that is stored as the address part in the instruction. So, the concept is telling that 
if the instructions that are executed by the program by the processor how many operations it can perform 256 so understand carefully if it is executing 256 operations so how many bits are required for 256 means that instruction will have awkward field and some address part are you able to follow yes so observe carefully so what is telling it is it is pc relative right pc relative means content of pc plus some x so this x is actually a signed value now tell me in this case how many locations it must move three so instead of the x in the instruction plus three will be coded by the assembler followed because whenever the unconditional jump executes the next op code next op code whatever is the uh, pc value is there plus the x value he is telling this is plus 3 here just for example i told you in this instruction what is the value of the signed what is the range of the signed value is telling simple logic tell me what is the length of instruction what's the length of instruction 16 bit okay so op code operands this is how the instruction is present in the memory 16 bits how many operations it can perform he is telling 256 2 power n is equal to 256 by which you can identify how many bits are meant for the opcode therefore 8 bits are meant for the opcode these are opcode bits operation code bits are you able to follow yeah opcode bits because in the question he has given 256 operations can be performed is it understood it means in the instruction format it is a 16 bit instruction which is present in the memory so he is telling that it he can it can perform 256 operations it means the opcode value is how much how many bits 256 uh, sorry 8 bits therefore now what are the bits left for this x instruction has got two fields no the address part field and the opcode got the point so therefore tell me for this x how many bits are present x contains how many bits therefore because this x is actually a signed displacement to store the signed displacement in the instruction it has got a field are you able to understand so therefore what happens is in the total opcode these are opcode is 16 bits uh, the opcode is 8 bits and the remaining 8 bits are meant for the address part so therefore x is equals to 16 bit instruction 16 bits minus 8 bits for the opcode 8 bits of opcode 8 bits of opcode so you'll, you'll get the remaining bits for meant for that address part of the instruction so 8 bits so this 8 bits is a signed value so that is what you should understand because in a program the program control can go from positive value from here to this side or negative address also means like minus values also if you take 2005 it may go to some 2000 or some 2006 whatever it is but this is simply one jump instruction he is telling therefore this 8 bit value is a signed value x is a signed displacement in the in the format of jump instruction are you able to follow now tell me simple question is regarding the range of 8 bit signed data just to confuse he has given just to confuse just i made it to uh, have this much of data the question is actually what is the range of 8 bit signed data to indicate the different concepts of data path and instruction and the basics i, I have just given in this other way are you able to follow yeah so now understand carefully is it clear right so now this one is some signed displacement it's a signed displacement got the point yeah it's a signed value it's a signed value so in 8 bit signed data simply is asking what is the range of this 8 bit signed data range of 8 bits signed data so now tell me 8 bits signed binary value what's the range you know the formula what's the range for 8 bit signed data it is simply minus 2 power n minus 1 2 plus 2 power plus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 that is the range very simple what is the value of n so how many concepts you have covered here you should know that branch instruction will have a address format which contains the target address offset value where it has to go relative value similarly pc relative addressing mode is calculated by content of pc plus the extra value x at this part of the instruction okay and how you got this one based on the opcode so these many concepts you can understand in this particular question so therefore n is equal to 8 so put the value of n that is equals to minus 8 power 8 8 minus 1 2 plus 2 power 8 minus 1 minus 1 this will give you simply minus 2 power 7 2 plus 2 power 7 minus 1 that will give you simply minus 128 to 
प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सेवन दैट इज आंसर